these days, I always say, I feel that we're managing COVID and not managing restaurants. I'm Jackie McCusker and um, I own Nacho Mama's. It's a Mexican themed restaurant, but it's really Maryland Mex food. So we will put a Maryland spin, Old Bay as our, you know, Maryland seasoning and, and Nacho Mama's opened 27 years ago in Baltimore City. And then we opened in Towson four years ago. It was exciting for us to be in the college town because, you know, there are several universities in the area, Goucher, and then there's Towson, there's Loyola, there's so many universities, Notre Dame, and it goes on and on, Hopkins even so. So it's really fun, it's a good energy for us to have students around and the walking traffic. Because we are in a college town, it's that traffic is important to our business. And we've, you know, certainly excited for the kids to come back to school when it was July and we were, you know, moving forward. And then we took a step back with numbers rising with the COVID. And then we watched the students move into the dorms and then we watched them, they had to move back home. So we did see how, unfortunately, not having the students around during COVID and it's unfortunate because it makes all of us have to look at things differently and be more creative in ways that we never have had to. The restaurant industry is 600 years old and this is a first. The steps that we take as a restaurant in, in a very unusual time to predict because it feels like once you get on the path of understanding at least by, you know, one month from today we'll be back in business at at 100%, not 50%, not 75%, 100%. The minute you feel that you can predict what that is, this pandemic has always spun into a different lane than it was going to go in. So we've been creative, but we also continue to face the challenges of the next issue that COVID plays and the next season. So when you're doing summer, it's hot to sit outside. When it's freezing cold, some people aren't as comfortable coming inside. So I keep saying, I just wish someone say, okay, you know, work toward, you know, December the 11th and you're free to go, but we just don't have that end in sight. So we're constantly strategizing for things that we hope will just get us to the other side. Nacho Mamas did have to close its doors because of COVID-19 uh, to make sure that we were operating as safe as possible if, when someone was tested positive. Uh, and that was tricky because we had to pretty much send everybody home immediately power down kitchens, food waste. It was very, you know, from a business perspective, it was scary. From a health perspective, it was scary. Overall, the COVID-19 has impacted our business in ways that I believe it, it's made us grateful. It's made us appreciate, you know, there is a time where you're just used to having people pour through the doors, sit at the bars. I'm not saying there are gifts of COVID because we all are struggling but there are things that are teaching us to ha be grateful for. You know, we were very blessed before and now we know we were.